Hello and welcome to this crash course looking at the Advanced Inventory Manager forecasting system. Forecasting is in a tab so you can access it just up here and once you're in you can search for a product and select the warehouse. Alternatively from the other tabs you could click on the colored dot against a product and that will open that uh, forecast from there. Uh, the first thing we need to do in setting a forecast is to set demand and that's denoted here um, in the strategy panel. You can do this in a few different ways. Firstly, you can drag the points per month to set the amount of demand you're expecting for that month, including the current month. Uh, you could also, if you have a history, uh, which is denoted by this green line of actual demand, we will use that to calculate a trend line, and that includes a seasonally adjusted trend line or a linear trend line, and you could set the forecast according to that trend line to give you uh, an idea of what uh, may happen based off the history of the product and how it's trending. Now you can still adjust off that line if you so choose, but that might give you a bit of a head start. The third way of setting a forecast is you could come down to the table and you could actually just type in the numbers. So if I want to round this out, I could hit enter and jump to the next number and it's pretty easy data entry or once you click out of the table everything calculates and we can move on. Once you've set forecast demand for every month and zero is fine as well, uh, you get a green tick. So that's great. We do have a few options in here. So particularly uh, if you want to configure uh, a, a warehouse with demand that actually supplies other warehouses like a distribution center, uh, you might uh, come into configure history and you can select multiple warehouses and it will actually add up the demand from all of those locations so that you can uh, make sure you have enough stock in your distribution center for all of the showrooms, for example. Once you have set demand, it's time to move on to planning supply. So uh, to keep it extremely simple, think of this as how many days of stock you want to hold. Now the days of stock will be a different quantity for different times of year. Um, by default, this chart is looking at, uh, I think, the next six months. Now I wanna hold seven days of stock at the point it reorders, uh, and that's my safety stock. It takes me two days of stock to arrive, so I've got, I should have five days worth of stock remaining. Uh, and then when it orders, it orders up to 30 days of stock. So if I do something like uh, make next month extremely quiet, and then the following month also very quiet on demand and make this a, a, a big forecast. You'll just see here that we end up with this uh, variability of what is 30 days of stock. So the system will intelligently uh, calculate based off the, the seasonality and, and also open transactions as well. Optionally, you can turn on uh, production planning. This is a yes, no question. And what this will do is if this is an assembled item, it will take these replenishments of the assembled item and it will create demand for you in the, the forecast of components. And so that pre-calculates pre and that could mean that you can plan all of your purchasing for uh, components based off sales forecasts for assembled items, which is fantastic. Once you're done up here, you will click the save button and that will create a save point and you can set a review timer. Uh, the system will prompt you to, to review uh, your forecast based off the, the timing. Uh, and after that, you can jump to the replenishments tab to see what quantity of replenishments are required. There are also extra tabs down here. So you can see as you're going that actually I have an overdue replenishment um, uh, right now. And, um, and, and what the future looks like. Now, if I were to just change the strategy very quickly, you'll see that this updates in real time. Let's say I wanna actually order 90 days of stock and you can see my replenishments planning and what's gonna be detailed in the replenishments tab is very different. So all of this comes together to give you uh, a clear insight as to what's required for your business and take all of the guesswork out. So hopefully you enjoy forecasting and thanks for watching.